There are four phenomena of collaborative inquiry. The abbreviation for collaborative inquiry is CI. Number one, CI powerfully enables participants to take action, reflect upon it together, and make shared meaning. Number two, CI is a methodology which is inquire as a natural process that makes learner questions why he did. Number three, and after the CI, we can use reflection and discussion to take productive action in the communities and the world. Number four, after we know how to identify the forms of CI, we should know how the CI works. For example, in a group project, each of the members is responsible for a certain research. They are asked to come for updates for example once a week. When they come together uh, in a group for updating the individual findings, how are they going to know what they are up to? How are they going to find out each individual's research? How the individual put into words or dialogues to make sense or meaning into what he or she discovers? However, the quality of one person's life experience is not easily communicated to another. Thus, the challenge before the group is how do we communicate with each other our experience as so that we can make sense of it as researchers? Through CI, the participants are able to explore internalized operation and healing strategies requires experiences infused with spirituality. Through CI, participants are able to encounter powerful phenomena of inner experience to ultimately enhance the learners who ever practice the CI and his or her presence in the world. CI can claim and nurture a person's intuitive capacities and transform lives. However, there are forms of CI. For example, CI in the form of intuition, CI in the form of spirituality, CI in the form of oppression and healing, and in the form of weaving into the stories of the participants. So for more information on the forms of CI, watch Is CI an effective structure for learning from the video link above? So example of CI collaborative inquiry, for example, in the nurses group in the hospital. So the learning method divides into three phases. So how does it go? Okay, say phase one, when group learns to communicate with each, other, uh, each of one another and understand, understand the needs and wants, In the phase two, group will focus on self and growing in the understanding of the individual, eventually developing new skills in how the nurses could communicate with each other. And in phase three, the group uses new skills and capacities to build communities throughout the hospital. So what are the advantages of CI you can see here? Okay, first, CI applies within a group of nurses demonstrate the diversity of purposes, context, organization, and roles played by the educator or the head of the nurses. Second, the CI consists of useful inquiries of the learner nurses that will facilitate group work and communication. And third, With the guidance of the chief nurses, less experienced nurses can see the purposes of participation, for example, in the workplaces such as hospital, clinics, or community centers, etc. Also, CI provides efficient and fruitful help to the change process in any organization. Change such as problems that need to be solved, plan for a new structure, implementing or trying out whether or should continue the institution, for example, and also considering new alternatives based on evaluation, for example, in organization. Just remember, CI facilitates new idea, which involves unique types of communication between individuals and groups because the message is concerned with the context of these new ideas. 
Finally, thank you for your participating, watching, and listening. Until next time.